in the middle of the gen section. Yes, brother. Abhi, Dr. Jekin Naik Vushe Vidal Aake Bhashan Kiya. Jitna Admi Idar Ye Bhashan Sunne Ke Liye Aaya, Quran Ko Sab Ko Mai Allah Se Pratana Karta Aai Ki Ye Lok Ka Samsar Pahal Bacche Suki Rao. God came, yes, to yes, for good production only. Jackie Rushen came here for good production only. Acha, abhi mai, mera naam Narayan Venkatesh Ayer, dharavi mein raita hai. Mai Hindu hai, lekin mai Quran ko maanta hai, mai Bible ko maanta hai, mai Gita ko maanta hai. I look equal for all. लेकिन मैं डॉक्टर साहब को ये पूछना चाहता है शेख सैयद मोल्ला पठान क्यों रखा ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय चंडाल सूत्र क्यों रखा इसको आंसर अभी चाहिए ब्रदर बिफोर आस्किंग इस क्वेश्चन ही सेड दैट ही सेज दैट देर आर लैक्स हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल गैदर्ड हियर एंड ही विशेष दैट पीस बी ऑन ऑल दिस पीपल then he said that Dr. Zakir Naik has come here to give good message and he's asking the question that he's a Hindu but he has read and he believes in the Quran, he believes in the Bible, he believes in the Veda and he's asking that why are there Pathan, Sheikh, Mullah, Brahman, Kshatriya, etc. As far as the question is concerned, why are there Patan, Sheikh, Mullah, these are family names. Just because a person is a Sheikh or a Mullah or a Patan does not make him superior to any other human being. The Quran says in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa jalnaakum shu'umba wa qaba ila litarafu inna khalaqnaakum in the loyat kaakum inna la alimun khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and I've divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa the criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not sex it's not caste it's not color it's not age it's not wealth it is taqwa it is God consciousness it is piety just because a person is born in a mullah family or a khan family or a sheikh family will not take into Jannah, but taqwa, piety, righteous deed, God consciousness will take into Jannah. But this is the Islamic concept. In the concept of Hinduism, the Vedas say, Almighty God created from the head the Brahmins. From the chest, Kshatriya. Brahmin are the learned class. Kshatriya are the warrior class. God, from his abdomen or his thighs, created the Vaishvas. That is the business class. And from the feet, the shudras. That is the servant class, that is the slave. This is the concept of Veda. In Islam, no human being is superior or inferior because of birth. There's no caste system in Islam. It is there in Hinduism. And for more details, why this is, you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Islam and Hinduism. Now coming to your question, first part, you said that you believe in Quran, you believe in Bible, you believe in Veda. I request the people, at least believe that one book is 100% the word of God. Not two, three, four, at least one book. So the Christian will say, I believe Bible is 100% the word of God. The Hindu will say, I believe the Veda to be 100% the word of God. The Muslim will say, I believe that Quran is 100% the word of God. You, mashallah, believe in all three. Now, do you know there are many contradictory things in the Quran and the Bible and the Veda? Let's not discuss that. I'm asking you today, at least follow what is common. At least what is common in the Veda, Bible and Quran, which you believe, at least follow that. All these three scriptures say that God is one. This God has got no image. He has got no idol. He has got no picture. It's mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4, Moses, peace be upon him, says, Shema Israelo, Yoro Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. If you read the Hindu scriptures, 
It's mentioned in Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1, Ekkam Evidityam, God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Sveta Siddhar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, and Yajurve, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Na Tasra Pratima Asti, of that God, there is no Pratima. Pratima in Sanskrit means an image, a photograph, a painting, a picture, a portrait, a sculpture, a idol. Of that God, there is no Pratima. Of that God, there is no image. Of that God, there is no photograph. There is no picture. There is no portrait. There is no painting. There is no sculpture. There is no idol. There is no statue. <laughs> Quran says the same in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Kul wallahu ad, Allah samad, lam yurid wa lam yurid wa lam yakullu kufanad. Say there is God one and only. The absolute, the eternal. He begets not noisy begotten, and there's nothing like him. I'm asking the question, do you believe in one God, brother? Kya aap ek bhagwan mein maante? Main ab dik tak bhagwan yek hi hai maanta hai. Aap buddh parasti mein maante? Brahma satyam jagan mitya jeevo brahma eva na paraha. Aap buddh parasti mein maante? Nain, usko kya hai? Buddh parasti. Mujhe ye ji nahi maanta hai. Mashallah, mashallah. Brother believes in one God, does not believe in idol worship. Brother Rubrik of Mane Vala Gar Naye, Garu only Bilu, Vispas, Ek Satya, Ek Praman Nature Vala Ku Garu, Ek Santo Jetahe. Half one kind of you are a God. Dr. Jackie, you say you one kind of God. Oh, Brahto is not Naya. Ab Jo Baisa Bold Rahe, Ab Kivet Melika, Rigway, book number one, hymn number one sixty four, verse number forty six, Ek Kamsat. Vipra Bahuda Vidante, God is one, truth is one, but sages call him a variety of names. Aapne kaha, ke Dr. Zakir Naik God hai. Dr. Zakir Naik God nahi hai, aur ho bhi nahi sakta hoon. Main God ka creation hoon, main Allah ka banda hoon, main Abdullah hoon, Allah nahi hoon. Kyunke aapne mujhe God kaha, isi liye main God thodi ban jata hoon. आपके साथ आप मुझे भी घसीट रहे जानम में मैं अल्लाह नहीं हूं अब्दुल्ला हूं अल्लाह का बंदा हूं उसी तरीके से कोई भी इंसान अल्लाह नहीं हो सकता वो भगवान नहीं हो सकता ईश्वर नहीं हो सकता इसी तरीके से राम राम में अच्छे मनुष्य थे आप अगर कहते हैं कि वो अवतार है अवतार के मानी है औ त्र मतलब खुदा ने भेजा लेकिन खुदा नहीं खुदा ने भेजा तो आप अगर कहते हैं इफ यू से दैट राम इज एन अवतार औ अंतर मीन सेंट फ्रॉम ऑल माइटी गॉड इफ यू से दैट आई गॉट नो ऑब्जेक्शन इफ यू से राम इज अ मैसेंजर ऑफ गॉड मे बी ही इज मे बी इज नॉट बिकॉज आ बिलव एट प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सेड देवर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड मैसेजर सेंट ऑन द फेस ऑफ द अर्थ By name, only 25 are mentioned in the Quran. Ram may be a messenger of God, maybe he is, maybe he is not. I cannot say for sure, but even if Ram was a messenger of God, even if Krishna was a messenger of God, he was sent only for those people and for that time. Today, all the human beings, whether they live in India, whether America, whether Canada, whether UK, whether Saudi Arabia, they should follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I'm not saying this. It is your scripture. Agar aap padhenge aapke kitab, Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, verse number 1 to 14. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 53, verse number 9. Speak about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He is mentioned as Ahmad. Ahmad means one who praises. One who praises is called as Ahmad. 
He's mentioned as Ahmed. If you read in Psalm Ved, Uttarchik, mantra number 1500. In Psalm Ved, Indra, chapter number 2, mantra number 152. In Yajurve, chapter number 31, verse number 18. In Rig Ved, book number 8, hymn number 6, mantra number 10. In Atharva Ved, book number 8, hymn number 5, mantra number 16. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, verse number 14. He's mentioned as Ahmed. He's mentioned as Nara Shansa. Nara Shansa means Nar means man, Shansa means praise, a man who's praiseworthy. If you translate into Arabic, it is Muhammad. He's mentioned by name Muhammad as Nara Shansa in several places. In Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 13, mantra number three. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 18, mantra number nine. Rig Ved, book number one, hymn number 106, mantra number four. Rig Ved, book number one, Hymn number 142, mantra number 3, Rig Ved, book number 2, hymn number 3, mantra number 2, Rig Ved, book number 5, hymn number 5, mantra number 2, Rig Ved, book number 7, hymn number 2, mantra number 2, Yajur Ved, chapter number 20, verse 37, Yajur Ved, chapter number 20, verse 57, Yajur Ved, chapter number 21, verse number 31, Yajur Ved, chapter number 21, verse number 55, Yajur Ved, chapter 28, verse number 2, Yajur Ved, chapter number 28, verse number 19, Yajur Ved, chapter number 28, verse number 42. I can keep on going, only giving references from the Hindu scriptures about the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. He is also prophesied in Kalki Purana as Kalki Autar. That his mother's name will be Sumati, that's Amina. His father's name will be Vishnu Yash, that's Abdullah. He'll be born in a place of peace, Sambala, that is Makkah. He'll be born in the family of the chief of the village of Sambala, that is chief of Makkah, that is Quraysh. He'll have four companions talking Hulfa Rashidin. On and on, if you really believe in your scriptures, you have to follow and believe in the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Kya aap Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mein maante? Mein maanta hai. Ke wo paigambar hai? Mein paigambar ko maanta hai. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam paigambar hai maante? Paigambar maanta hai. Paigambar one kind of oh God. Kya wo kya hai? One kind of God ne. One kind of messenger of God. God bole to galat hai. God बोले तो गलत है messenger of God बोलिए मैं दो करोड़ sixty three lakhs राम 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 लिखा लेकिन अभी तक राम मेरे पास आया नहीं क्यों बराबर the brother said he wrote twenty million times राम 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 but राम hasn't come to him yet so therefore I am telling you believe in one and only creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe in all his messengers as well as the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Hope that answers the question. But my question is whether the creation, say our humankind, uh, not the creator, can destroy this whole world? Did creator mention anything about the downfall of this earth? 